Happy Wednesday. We got a really fun workout for you guys today. Today we've been working on a lot of balance and core. So a lot of foot dexterity, really rotating with their kicks, coming back with some blocks, counting with some kicks, and then some, uh, some punches off of that. So really working on our balance, working on controlling our movements, not just kicking and kind of ending up wherever, uh, wherever the momentum takes us. All right, so we're gonna start off with the five minute warm up. Then we're gonna follow that up with the five minute kickboxing, I'm sorry, shadow boxing tutorial. So we're really kind of gonna go over step by step on our footwork and the, uh, the fundamentals of the shadow boxing that we're gonna implement for the, uh, for the uh, combos. After that, we're gonna get into three uh, three minute rounds, combos of the day. And then we're gonna get into some uh, conditioning rounds after that. So we'll have five total uh, working rounds on top of the uh, 10 minutes of our of our warm up and uh, and uh, shadow boxing. All right, you guys. So we'll get started off here. We're gonna start off with the uh, with the warm up. So everything's gonna be 45 seconds. Last 15 seconds will be kind of a little cool down. All right. So we got five little exercises. Really get the uh, the heart rate up. Work at your own pace. Okay. Ready. And let's get it. We're gonna get some rotations out. In, out, in. Hands are up, out, in, out, in. I try to be in my fighting stance when I'm doing this because this is mimicking, uh, mimicking the movements that I would throw when I throw a round kick, especially when I'm going to the inside. Out. Hands are up by your chin. One more set. Out. In. Out. In. We're just gonna shuffle. Shake those wrists out. Couple sips in your nose. Couple sips out your mouth. We're gonna go squat to teep after. Ready? And we're gonna squat. Boom. Think about hitting with the ball of your foot. Pushing those hips forward, curling that toe towards your shin. Get nice and low, nice and controlled. That foot that you're posting on can open up just a little bit for some balance. Good, relax, jumping jacks. We're getting some shoulder mobility here. All right, relax. Hands out here together. Gonna bring them down towards my pockets and over. Good, backwards, nice big circles. Good, feet a little wider, big pat in the back. Open up that chest, open up those shoulders. Good, and rotate. Good, relax, you got those wrists. We're gonna do uh, leg swings. Touch, touch. Think just like solar plex level, maybe chest level. Try not to go to head level just yet. Control that balance. Good, feet nice and wide. We're gonna go side lunge, one, back to the middle. Back to the middle. Back to the middle. Back to the middle. 
One more. Good. Relax. All right, so now we're going to come down. I'm going to bend my knees if I have to to touch the ground. I'm going to touch. Walk, 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 walk. Flip it up. Sit back. Chest over my hands. Walk, 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 walk. One, two, bounce. Come all the way up. So I come down, touch. One, two, walk, 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 walk. Chest over my hands. Flip it over. Sit back. Come back up, chest over my hands. Up, and let's do one more. I'm down, one, two, trying to go a little bit further each time. Chest over my hands, go to my knees, flip it over, sit back. Pop back up, walk, 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 all the way up. Good, nice work you guys. All right, so right now we're gonna get into our shadow boxing tutorial, okay? So today we're gonna be alternating sides. So we'll be working from the orthodox stance, which is your right foot back, to the uh, southpaw stance, which is your left foot back, all right? So, left foot forward, oh, scratch that, I'm sorry. So we're gonna keep the uh, left foot forward. So, we'll have your feet about shoulder width apart. We'll bring our right foot out to about like three, four o'clock, bring the left foot straight up, all right? So we're gonna maintain the stance, all right? Thinking ahead. Think about Friday, fancy footwork Friday. All right, so let's go here. Nice and square stance, okay? I'm here, I'm just gonna move a little bit. Forward, back, left, and right. The idea is to not let my feet come together. Think like there's two or four in between your feet. Always be an athletic stance. I'm always ready to kick. I'm always ready to punch. I'm always ready to counter. Let's just get comfortable here in the stance. I like to keep it like 60, 40. So I like to get like 60% of my weight on my back foot and then 40 on my front. All right, so I'm not too one-sided. I'm not super heavy on my back foot and I'm not falling over on my front foot. So nice and light. Get the head moving. Good, relax. We're gonna be working on blocks today, okay? So, block and push. Block and push. Block and push. Block. And push. block and push. Don't worry too much about the specifics of the block. I just want you guys to get that knee up. Block and push. Block and teep. Block, teep. Block, teep. Block, teep. Good. Other side. Block, teep. Block, teep. Block, bring that knee up about waist level, up, set on the ball of your foot, push it forward, all right? Block, push, block, push, block, push, block, push. One more, block, and push, good. Now we're gonna go with the lead leg, we're gonna spin 180, okay? So remember we've been doing that, over, and then I come back with my leg up with that block. So I come over, I bring my leg up for that block. All right, so I'm over, bring my leg up. That's where that dexterity and that balance comes in. So I come over and I'm here. And then if you get a little bit too much momentum, you're here, just take a second, plant your feet, bring that leg back up. But when you come back around, you should be nice and squared and in a position to, uh, to attack, okay? Or defend. One more, boom. Good. 
Now we'll go other leg. So I'm gonna go around and block. Around here, I come back and block. Kick and come back. Kick and come back. Open up my lead foot when I kick, or whatever my planting foot is. And I come back. Good, one more. Good, nice, relax. Let's go work on some knees, okay? So we're gonna throw left knee, right knee. Really push your hips forward, think about bringing your heel towards your butt. My hands are up, you can bring them down just a little bit if you like, but try not to do this stuff, okay? It's not cardio, kickboxing. All right, we're here. Well, I mean, it is cardio, kickboxing, but we're, really, but we're learning real techniques, correct? But it's all cardio, kickboxing. This, you know, that's what fighting is, it's cardio. All right, so when people say, oh, it's cardio, kickboxing, I'm like, you always have to have good cardio for it. A couple more. Good, relax. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get into our working rounds here. First combo, I'm starting off with the lead leg, all right? I'm gonna switch on the step, whatever you like to do. Here, I come back and I push with the same leg. Spin over, block, and teep with the same leg. One more time. I'm coming here, I'm coming here, I'm going there, all right? Ready, three minute rounds. First part of the round. First part of the combo, I should say. And first part of the round. Control and control. And reset that leg afterwards because we're coming back with some punches. Swing through, block, and teep. One more. Good. Now we're coming back with the cross, hook, and cross. Ready? Let's work it. Over, block, cross, hook, and cross. Boom. Block, teep, cross, hook, and cross. Kick, block, boom, cross, hook, and cross. Boom, come over, block, reset your legs before you throw your punches. <clears throat> reset your legs, cross, hook, <clears throat> and cross. A couple more. Cross, hook, and cross. <clears throat> Last one, and we're gonna add a knee. Switch, block, push, cross, hook, cross. We're gonna finish with the lead knee, all right? All the techniques, leg techniques are gonna be on one side. Over, block, push, cross, <sighs> knee, and then reset those legs. Boom, block, T, cross, hook, cross, Ooh, <clears throat> reset those legs. What add a burpee after this last knee? I know, that's what we, I know that's what you guys were looking for. 
the more burpees, the better, right? Cross, cross. Good, one more. Work through the bell. Good, nice. Relax, Just keep it moving. Shuffle here. Grab some water if you need it. Shake those wrists out. Good, we'll go forward, hands up by your chin. We're gonna work the other side now. Rear round kick, keep it moving, I'll explain. So we're gonna go rear round kick, boom. Rear block, rear push. I'm going rear round kick, rear block, rear teep, all right? Everything nice and controlled. Ready. And let's work it. I'm going. Over, back, and push. Over, back, and push. A lot of core, a lot of foot dexterity. Control. Throw, block. Row, block, and push. Control. Throw that leg out or set it, uh, set it back. Don't just let it fall wherever it may. Control it. Forward and back. There's a time and a place to set it forward. Right now, today is not the time. Good. Follow that up with a hook, cross, and hook. All right? Showtime. Kick, block, push. Step forward, get in a good stance. Hook, cross, and hook. Ready, hands up. <clears throat> Throw, back, push, hook, cross, hook. <sighs> hands up. <sighs> like I always say, if you mess up the combo, it's all right if you don't really mess it up, okay? We all, uh, things change, we gotta improvise, we gotta adapt, right? That's what it's all about, keeping it moving. Boom, I'm back, reset, hook, cross, hook. Open that elbow up on that hook. One more, then we're gonna add the knee. Boom. Hook, cross, hook, bah. rear knee, all right? Let's work it. Kick, block, teep, hook, cross, hook, hands are up high, hoo, and knee. All right, and then we're moving. Throw, block, push, hook, cross, hook, hook, and knee. Nice. Ready. Hoo. Block, push, hook, cross, hook, and knee. Boom, and then we hit that burpee. I know this is what you guys were looking for. Best part of the round. Rear round. Block. Push. Hook, cross, hook. Oh, knee. Come down. Burpee time. Ready, let's work it. Kick. Block. Push. Hook, cross, hook. Knee. Come down. And burpee. Good. Let's go side lunges. Good. I know you guys got some uh, leg work yesterday with Jess, but it's always good to get a little double dose of some leg action. They get neglected a lot. Good. Good, keep it moving. Good, we're just bouncing here. 30 seconds. 
Now we're gonna put these combos together, all right? We'll start with the left leg all the way through, minus the burpee. Then we'll go on the other side all the way through, minus the burpee, all right? We'll stay on one side one minute, then we'll jump to the other side, then we'll put them together. Ready. And let's work. Lead leg. Boom. Back. Push. Cross. Cross. Switch knee. Reset. Stay on that leg. Cross. Reset. Keep those hands up. Visualize where you're hitting. Visualize your target. Boom. I'm going to the body. I'm blocking that kick. Boom. Body again. Head. Head. Boom. Liver. All right, or wherever you want to hit. Maybe I'm going ahead. Blocking the body kick. Boom, push to the soul plex. Cross, hook, cross high. And then knee. One more on this side. Block, push. Knee, good. Rear leg now, please. Throw it, bring it back. Push, hook, cross, hook, hook, and knee. All right? Kick, block, push, reset. Hook, cross, hook, hands up, bah. Big knee, right to the solo flex. Oh, kick to the body. Block, push, hook, cross, hook. Oh, knee. Sound effects are highly suggested. Boom. Boom. Hook, cross, hook. Throw. Block. Push. Hook, cross, hook. And knee. Working up a good sweat here. I'm slipping a little bit. Kick. Block. Push. Hook, cross, hook. And knee. Now we're just gonna alternate. All right. Lead leg. Boom. All the way through. Boom. Boom. Cross. Hook. Cross. Huh. Knee. Rear leg. Boom. Block. Push. Hook. Cross. Hook. Rear knee. Lead leg. Boom. And change up the height on your kicks. They don't always have to be at a certain level. All right. I mix it up between legs, body, head. One more on each side. Last one, work through the bell. And knee, good, and relax. Nice, good job, you guys. All right, we're gonna get into some ab work. Let's just keep it moving here. We'll go forward and back. We got four exercises. We got four exercises. We're gonna run through them 10 times. I'm sorry, 10 reps of each. And we're gonna run through them as many times as we can in this three minutes. Maybe three and a half minutes. All right? All right, relax. So let me explain it. First one, we're going leg lifts, okay? So on these leg lifts, I want your hands by your side. Don't put them underneath your butt. All right, hands by your side and up. Down and up. If that's a little much, just alternate here. But try to come up and control. Don't bring your foot way over your chest, all right? Second one, we got sit-ups with the reach. Third, little rope climbs. Last one, sprinters. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Ready, and let's go. Leg lifts with the little hip thrust if you can. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Feet wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Rope climbs. One, two, reach, keep the opposite elbow down. Three, four, big squeeze to the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, best part, we're gonna do it again. One, two, fight the urge of having your hands underneath your uh, tailbone. Four, control. Five, oh yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. All the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Feet up, rope climbs. One, reach, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you don't reach, you ain't gonna get nowhere. And 10. Good, all right. We're going here, we're going sprinters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep it going, work through the bell here. We got uh, 45 seconds. One, this is our active rest. Good, and we got sit-ups. One, we'll finish it off here. And 10, good, nice, good work, you guys. All right, with this app stuff, I like to do it I'll do it once or twice during the workout. If I get one round in um, during the workout, I try to do it like two to three rounds, all right? So I try to start with some abs or just at least get the, uh, the core warm and then finish up with some abs uh, after I'm done with my workout. I try not to fatigue my abs too much so I'm able to work uh, safely and correctly through my, uh, through my combos and stuff. But towards the end, I really wanna hit my abs and, uh, and uh, Smoke them out. All right, so we're going here. So we're gonna go reverse lunge. Ready, get into our last round, conditioning rounds. Just tap, stay nice and light on the ball of your foot. Nice and control. Keep 
that core tight. One more. Good, we got squats. Get nice and low. Squeeze your glutes. Really push up, feel those quads activated. Got a little squat hops. Ready, 20 seconds. Don't have to be high. Get low, pop back up. Try not to come all the way up. Good. Shake them off and high knees. Pump those arms. Good, relax, little skip, split squats. Almost there. Good, relax. <clears throat> On your back, let's just finish out those last couple reps of abs that we were doing. So we'll finish up with the rope climbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll finish off here. Last part of that series, those sprinters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, all the way up. Try to get up without using your hands. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Good work. That got me going. Uh, it always gets me going. Get me, uh, gets the heart rate up. Gets me crisper on my techniques, too. All right? So, when I'm working out, I try to think of, like, where I feel a certain exercise. All right? Uh, where I feel my movements. If I'm throwing my punches correctly. If I'm show, uh, throwing them accurately. If I'm throwing my kicks correctly. If I feel like I'm in control of my movements. Okay? That's gonna dictate, and that's really gonna improve your technique and better your quality of, uh, of workout, all right? So mentally think about your movements. Don't just kinda just go through them and fall wherever you may. Visualize, see where you're, when you're doing your ab exercise, okay, am I feeling it in my core? Am I feeling it in my back or my neck? Maybe I'm doing it incorrectly. Maybe I need to downgrade a little bit or modify, all right? Uh, thank you guys so much. Remember, uh, we have on-demand classes on our YouTube channel, so you guys can click on them, uh, watch them whenever you like, as many times as you like. We'll be bringing to you uh, content every day on Instagram and on YouTube. Please uh, go to our YouTube channel, give us a like, subscribe, and uh, leave any comments that you guys may have. Uh, we love you guys, miss you guys, and uh, see y'all soon. Stay fit, stay strong, stay ready.